numerous studies from around the world. Now, they are showing a very, very interesting picture. We're talking studies from the United States. We're talking studies from the UK. And now the latest one from Australia showing that actually EV batteries last even longer than us EV fans thought they lasted. And the battery degradation is really no longer a significant issue that we should even bother talking about. Now, what is so remarkable about all of this, and I'm partly at fault here, I admit this, I apologize, cars with lithium ion phosphate batteries, they are not actually getting less battery degradation than cars with NCM chemistry, so nickel, cobalt, manganese, lithium batteries. Really, there's two different types of batteries in the world, right? LFP and NCM. And we've all thought, and I thought, we all did, like, let's not pretend here, we all thought this, that LFP batteries were getting a lot less battery degradation, they were therefore the safer choice, and that was one reason to get them. But the latest data we've seen from four different battery studies shows that actually that's not the case. In fact, there's almost no difference between the two chemistries. Another new study on electric cars here in Australia exposes some really, really interesting stuff. I mean, these numbers are quite shocking to me. I didn't realize batteries were this good. I mean, I've been saying, you guys know me, I've been saying for a long time, electric car batteries are so much better than what people think. You don't need to freak out about it. They last way, way longer than any internal combustion engine is going to last. But I didn't realize just how good they are. And these numbers, this new report shows that um, even my optimism actually looks like it was just being realistic. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you want to become a member of the channel, that would be awesome. I'll put a link in the description. We nearly have 500 members. I'm trying to get to 500. That's my goal. So yeah, your support would be amazing. A new study released in Australia shows that electric vehicles maintain more than 90% of their battery health even after 120,000 kilometers and more than four years of driving. More than 90% after, what's that, 80,000 miles. But it's actually a lot more than that. The report from Australian used car marketplace Pickles challenges well, common, not just fears, but it challenges the media narrative and, you know, a lot of these idiots posting on social media just relentlessly about how your battery is going to die within a few years and you'll have to buy a new battery. It's going to cost you $50,000. You know, all this insane stuff, ridiculous stuff. But it, it really uh, annihilates this idea that batteries are an issue in an electric car. Now, apparently, according to the Driven.io, a 2023 report from the Green Finance Institute found that 62% of all respondents said they would not purchase an electric car because of problems about how long batteries last for. So unfortunately, the average Australian is not really that educated. They're not interested. They've kind of just shut off. They're like, well, somebody, Bob Jones down the street, he said, hey, those batteries and those EVs, they're shocking. And so I believe him. So please share this with your friends so that we can debunk these myths. This report finds that Hyundai EVs and others showed an incredible 99.3% battery health after 120,000 kilometers of driving. That kind of, you know, gives you at least some optimism considering the fact that Hyundai have had some a fair few battery EV recalls, right? BYD was close behind in second place with only 98.6%. Uh, with, now I shouldn't say only, I mean, 98.6% means the batteries had degraded only one, well, less than 1.4% after 120,000 kilometers of driving. These results provide the first insights available in the Australian market and they're in relation to used EV battery health, said the Chief Commercial Officer at Pickles. The company said it was the final stages, in the final stages of developing an EV battery health assurance process, which will give its customers greater confidence when making an EV purchase. So basically this company is saying, if you buy an electric car from our marketplace, we're going to give you a certification on how good that battery is and how long it's going to last. That's kind of cool. I mean, this is this has never, ever happened before with engines, diesel, petrol engines. There's never any company that said, yeah, we're going to guarantee that the health or lifespan of this engine will last for so long. So it's really changing here. People are going to save so much money from this kind of um, having to, being able to have a vehicle that's reliable 
and they can charge at home, don't have to replace the brake pads, don't forget it's serviced all the time, and don't have all these things going wrong with it as well, having to get your oil filters changed, you're, you know, having to get oil replacements, having your spark plugs repl replaced, all these kinds of stuff. Used EV sales through Pickles were up 190% last year, which means they set a record smashing um, number of used EVs were sold. Private buyers are leading the charge with 51% of EVs sold at Pickles going to individual customers compared to 24% for petrol and diesel. Now getting back to this study, I have done a few videos lately. In fact, I think I've done a, maybe four videos over the last four or five months showing various studies proving batteries last much longer than the general belief, even in EV circles, even us EV fans, I think we've actually been a bit pessimistic. And I think a lot of that is because of misinformation on Facebook, misinformation on social media, uh, on blogs. People post stuff that's completely wrong. They're basically newbies and you can't really... Um, well, I, I sometimes do get annoyed at them because I know that they're post posting false information. And I often will go on social media and I just get... It, I feel like ripping off my arm or something because there's so many people posting stuff that's just completely false, really completely false about every electric car. They're saying stuff that's just nonsense. They, they come in and post something like, oh, my, my battery life's died. It's only got 50% battery capacity left. And you know, when you find out the details, it turns out they have no idea what they're talking about. They're just because someone said this and someone said that, they decided that meant this. And it's, it's really um, unfortunate because there's so much fear out there with electric cars. A lot of owners, they're actually very fearful and they start to believe, oh, this has happened to my car and they start posting stuff on Facebook, which is just completely false. If you see the data from the companies who are actually collecting the data and actually doing the battery checks themselves, it's, it's, set, it's showing you a completely different picture. It's showing that electric car batteries in almost every car are lasting far longer than even EV fans think they are. And it gets back to my point here. We only have had EVs that haven't been around for that long, but we have had Teslas for a long time. And I've been tracking, you guys know this, I track Tesla Model 3s and Model Ys, particularly Model 3s because they've been around longer than Model Ys. There's quite a lot of Tesla Model 3s now that have done more than 700,000 kilometers of driving on the same battery, and they're still doing fine. The batteries are still got in excess of 70% original battery capacity left in them, even up to 700,000 kilometers. And we're talking older older Tesla Model 3s. Imagine how good the newer ones are. Imagine how good these, these newer batteries are in all, all these cars, in BYDs. Really, all this stuff comes, comes together. It's culminating with the UK, Australia, and America doing battery studies. All of them. All these studies showing you that batteries are lasting far longer than anyone's predicting or anyone thought they actually would. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thanks for watching.